Um, hi, everybody. Welcome to another episode of the Make Code Arcade Advanced stream. Um, I'm Shannon. I'm at Chacao on the forums. And I'm Daryl at Darzu on the forums. I'm Joey at J Wonderl on the forums. And I'm Richard at Richard on the forums. And I'm just really glad, you guys, that we've nailed down this introduction <laughs> thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the order system is working. I was very nervous yesterday because I had to like run through my head like, am I first or Richard first? <laughs> Which is kind of embarrassing, but I trust I you guys. <laughs> Um, cool. So uh, if you're joining us for the first time, we're doing sort of a themed week. Um, this week we're doing a boss rush. So each day we're designing a boss battle. Um, and then on Friday we'll be putting them all together into one big game, um, hopefully. So uh, you'll notice I'm starting with some code. Um, if you go to Monday stream, you can see Richard writing this code. But essentially we've made some basic platformer mechanics. So there's gravity. Um, when you hit the A button, the player jumps and then when you hit the B button, um, we have this projectile code. So the player will shoot in the position of the direction that they're facing. I posted in the chat if anybody wants to follow along. Cool. Thank you, Joey. Um, so today, my idea for a boss was to have um, a boss that teleports around the screen, uh, maybe a couple fixed positions, um, and fires, you know, bullets at you. Um, and so you have to dodge and also, you know, change positions based on like the boss's new position. Um, so I'm going to start by adding uh, some platforms, maybe here, here and here. Um, uh, it's worth noting that we've configured the jump height in this game to be three blocks tall. So I think these should all be reachable, but it might be a little hard. to get to that top one. We'll Let's see. see. That one. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, yeah. I guess the jump height is two blocks tall. <laughs> what if they were offset by one from the ones underneath? Yeah. They need to be. They need to be shorter. It needs to be down. Yeah. We could change the jump height too. But I mean, we have it for the other games. Yeah. In the series. Okay. Um, we can go back and tweak this level later. Uh, but then I'm going to make another tile for the boss's spawn location. Um, I'm just going to make that black dot. Um, and this will be invisible um, because our background is black. Um, maybe here and here. All right. Cool. So those are all the locations the boss can appear, right? Yes. Um, so my idea is I'm going to just spawn the boss on a random one um, and have the boss fire for some amount of time and then destroy the boss and spawn them on, again on a different random one. Um, you might have to make the boss um, take a second before it can damage you, or maybe not damage you with its body at all, because um, otherwise it'll be pretty hard to dodge. Yes. So uh, the idea is I think the boss should signal, it should teleport to a position and like maybe like flash a bit or something to like signal, oh, I'm in this new position and give you time to react. So um, this sort of level setup, um, you're like safe if you're in this middle area from the boss on the sides, but the boss could also teleport to the middle and then you'll have to very quickly um, move to the side to avoid um, was the thought. We'll see how it plays out. Kind of boss, and I'm going to make the boss um, purple. We did purple, didn't we? Orange? Oh, did we already do purple? We did. Albert was purple. Wasn't it dark purple? Well, purple is purple. Purple. <laughs> All right. Here's the boss. And then I'm going to go into scene, grab a tile map, place on random. And place the boss on top of a random spawn point. Cool. Um, so I think for teleporting, I'm just going to give the boss a lifespan, um, which is in milliseconds. And so the lifespan um, is just 
the number of milliseconds before a sprite is automatically destroyed. So seconds for now. And then if I go to sprites, we have this useful on destroyed sprite of kind boss. So whenever I destroy the boss, um, I'm just going to call create boss again. All right, so let's watch this for a little bit. Boss is up here. Two seconds. Boss is over there. Cool. I think it teleported to the same location a few times. Ah, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Cool. We could make it so that it cycles. If like we got the um, array of all locations and then we just like keep popping a random one and then when yeah. it gets to zero, we reset the array to it. It's like a <laughs> shot. Yeah, basically. Sorry, Daryl, what did you? It's like a shuffle. I guess it's not shuffle because it's not randomized, but I mean, it we is could nice to have up. like a um a pattern though, so then you can sort of plan around it as you're fighting the boss. <clears throat> All right, cool. So let's go grab a list. I'm gonna grab all of the uh, so an array of all tile locations, and tile is gonna be these boss spawn points, and. Um, so in create boss, I'm going to set the boss to the first one, and then I'm going to move the first one to the end. Um, get and remove first value. Cool. What name the boss? I think it should start with a C, right? Yes. What? In keeping with our naming conventions. What if we named it Chase in honor <laughs> of our? <laughs> oh, that is also very thematically appropriate. <laughs> All right, so instead of placing on top of a random, I'm going to place the boss on top of this um, specific location uh, set. Nope. The boss on top of the boss spawn. And then I'm going to, so I removed the first value from boss locations. Now I'm going to add it again to the end because, um, so right now you can see it's iterating through all of them, but it's going to get to the end and there's going to be no more locations um, nice. and it'll stay there forever. I'm so. surprised we gracefully handled that. <laughs> yeah. I was expecting a crash. So I'm going to go to boss locations and I'm going to add this spawn back. All right, awesome. so I think this should work. Um, let's see. One, two. Cool. This is great. All right, so now let's have the boss shoot some projectiles. Um, and so, like Richard said, I think we should have the boss jump to a new location, maybe pause for a little bit, and then start firing. So you have some time to react. Um, so I guess I could just do a timer for that. Um, Can you just pause here? In I don't off? remember if we run, I don't think we run this in parallel. Yeah, we'll have to check, but I think Joey is correct. This will not. Ah. Yeah. Okay, so I'm moving back and forth, and then I freeze slightly uh, whenever the boss jumps to a new location, and that's because it's time this to spawn. react. Sorry? <laughs> I said it gives you time to react. Yes. <laughs> sort, sort of. <laughs> Plan your uh, reaction. If we're doing the same thing as we did the last few times about like uh, throttling how often it fires, we can just add some time at the beginning whenever you create a new one. Oh, that's a good idea. So we have you know, for like the projectile firing we have for the player, we mm -hmm. set a time since last fire and then we check to see if we are above that time, right? So just yeah. add a second in the on destroyed or on period. Yeah, so you could just set that for the boss, but like, 
Joey said, set it at an offset and it'll only start when that time is passed. Um, right. Well, no. So I actually, I want the bus to show up so you can see where it is. Um, and then. Yeah. So, so what we're saying is, um, if we have these two variables, if you, can you go up to where the projectile fire is? Yeah. So we have this um, last fire time. Right. And then we have time between fire. But if we did the same thing for the boss and you set last fire time to be plus like two seconds. The last fire time is based on the projectile. Right. But it would be the same thing as pausing because it's going to wait two seconds before it starts spawning projectiles again. Mm -hmm. Sure. You mean just doing this logic again, but not reusing these variables? Yeah. 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 OK. Right. Yes. Um. <clears throat> Yeah, so um, let me just kind of go through what we're doing here. Uh, we added a pause when the player shoots. So you see there's this gap between the bullets. Um, and what's happening is when you press the B button, um, we check. So we check the current time, which is this time since start. And we make sure it's greater than the last time you fired plus this like pause interval. And if it is, then we spawn a bullet and we update this last fire time. And so that just sort of guarantees this gap between uh, bullets. And so we're going to do the same thing here, which is to track um, a gap between the last time we spawned the boss and the current. Does that work? Yes. Cool. Uh, we'll need it for the for throttling how fa fast it shoots anyway, so it won't be any extra work really. Oh, I see what you mean. You were saying build it into the boss fire mechanic. Yes. So yes. just like ah, in the create okay. boss, you cool. set time since start to time since yes. start plus a thousand type thing. So we did the same thing for Albert. Um, but now we're just going to, for the first iteration, add a higher number so that it. Uh... Yeah. So I'm going to duplicate all of this. Um... Game update, and then instead of checking the B button, we're just going to automatically fire. Um, and so uh, and this is going to, yeah, have the player automatically fire. So instead of doing that, I'm going to change all of these players to the boss. And I'm going to keep the projectile velocity the same for now. There might already be variables because I um I deleted them. <laughs> oh, okay. I see. I cleaned this up before. Um what did you call this? Time since boss fire? Last fire time. Last boss fire time. All right. Last boss fire time, and here we're also going to do last boss fire time, and we're going to keep this. Um, and then instead of any of this is facing, we're just going to create. So here we're going to um, change the projectile logic because I think the boss is going to fire projectiles in all directions, um, and we don't need this. All right. So right now you'll see the boss um, spawns to a new location, starts firing, um, and. And then if I add this pause, so math, um, last boss fire time, and I'm going to give it maybe 500 milliseconds. Um, so that'll add the time between each fire, but we want to just add it only on the initial fire, so only in the create. So we want to initialize last boss fire time in oh, the create. Yes. This is why I like data a lot better. All right. So then we're going to artificially bump the last boss fire time um, by 500 milliseconds, um, and that will just sort of uh, create this pause um, in this game update. All right. There we go. 
And then instead of firing in one direction, I want the bus to fire in all directions. So I'm going to do a loop. Can you just, if you set the velocity to zero, zero, want it pick random? Yeah, but I want it to fire in a pattern. Uh, well, okay, let's try this. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Um, we can see what this looks like. I wanted it to do like a radial burst of bullets. Right. Um, this, this is not bad either, though. <laughs> I like the radial burst though. Easier for the that player. Cool. Yeah. All right, let's give this a shot. Um, I did not pre-work out the trigonometry required, but <laughs> so we're going to make um, so this for loop is inclusive, which means um, it will. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, do we want to fire? eight at once or do you want to fire in a radial over like uh over so the time? thing i was picturing was eight at once Maybe. okay nice um <laughs> <laughs> okay and um let's see how this works so basically i want to create uh four projectiles one going straight up one going to the left one going to the right one going down and they're just going to all going to go out at the same time so right now it's creating four projectiles and they're all going in the same um, direction. Um, Give me a second, I'll calculate this math. <laughs> Thank you, Richard. Um, so this is uh, some some fun trick, um, but we should be able to. So you're doing eight slices, is yeah. that right? Yeah, yeah, let's do eight slices. All right, so it'll be 0 0.785 times the index. Okay, sweet. And that is that the way I got that was by taking pi over two, dividing it by eight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I think we could just do that that whole formula, put pi divided by eight in there. We we don't have pi in the blocks. Oh yeah. Yeah. Wait. Okay. So sorry. Can you say it again? Zero point seven eight five four. If you want to go another. <laughs> Um, and then X is the cosine of that. Yeah. And Y is the sine of that. And then I think I'm going to, yeah, keep here. So uh, I'm also going to multiply by some factor. For now, we'll keep it the projectile velocity. Um, Ooh, you're going to have to do fire angle times the index. Uh, yes, you are correct. Uh, I'm just going to do that inside fire angle. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> OK, let's see. Uh, we need the view uh, to change the Ooh. sign to. Yes. Although I kind of like this. Something's happening. Hey, this is, this is a lot. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very difficult game you've made, Shannon. <laughs> Try hitting the boss at all, actually. Is this one yeah. just a survival game? Or? Right, you hide and then you shoot. Oh, geez. You can't shoot up, though, right? So, yeah. so the problem I is, I think right now the bosses never level with you. So I think I should change the spawn locations to also be down here. So, yeah. Where's our time? Maybe a bigger boss too. I wonder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Probably. All right. Okay. All right. I am back. I disappeared. Oh. <laughs> I didn't oh, notice. I no one noticed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So here's a slightly better map. Um, so see, if you're safe. Oh no. Um, I think half a second is not nearly long enough. Of a pause? Yes. And yeah. I think the boss should probably fire less also. Um, this is a lot of bullets. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to give it one second and then also keep the boss in place half a second longer. And instead 
instead of doing this time between fire, I'm going to create a new one, um, which is time between boss fire. And let's make that maybe double. All right. Yeah, better. I mean, to be honest, it doesn't really matter how fast it's firing. It should, I think it should just be like, you need to get out of way before it starts firing. Yeah. Um, which this this is fine. Um, I still think that I think you need to like triple the the pause. For before the boss starts firing. Yeah, because otherwise you probably want to get some shots off in that time too, right? Yeah. Because otherwise you you can't take shots without going into the the past Wait, two seconds and then Oops. all right let, let's see you beat this game shannon i yeah, feel like I would tough. See that. <laughs> <laughs> do we have to destroy boss logic no we don't have any of okay. the projectile logic in yet oh. okay okay yeah maybe that's doable it yeah. could be interesting to do this as like a while. phase two so if we did the same logic but we just did one at a time and just change the angle by one then we could just do a spiral, and then after it, like half health, it gets to this mode. Um. Yeah, I do like that. Yes. Um. Okay. Let me do the projectile logic first. Um. So. And then we can maybe disable the damage logic while we're testing. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> um. So I'm going to change the kind of this boss projectile to be a different kind. Um. In here, I think we still sweet boss projectile. So a kind of player overlaps with other sprite of kind boss projectile. Um, we are going to destroy the projectiles and take away a life. And in info, change life by minus one. Um, cool. And then when the player projectile overlaps with spray of kind of boss, then we're going to destroy both projectiles. Um, and decrease the boss health. Uh, let me see if we still have that around. Nope, new variable. All right, so I'm going to give the boss, um, I'm going to start slightly lower than 100 from our previous games. Let's do 50. And so we're going to take away one health from the boss. And I don't think we want the destroy other sprite there. Projectile. Yes, you're correct. And then we're going to check to see if the boss has zero health. Um, then we're going to win the game. change block. So if the boss health is less than or equal to zero, then game over win. Cool. So now I lose lives. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to You can also hold B and it'll fire just as fast. Ooh, yes, true. I need to react faster to when the boss is on this ground floor level. I think. It's coming down here next, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Okay. 
so then the other thing I'm going to do is Joey's suggestion of starting out with um, the boss firing in uh, one bullet at a time. And um, when we get to some health threshold, then it will change and start doing the radial. Um, so let's just keep this for now. And I guess I'll save the current angle in a variable so that we can rotate through. So this is going to be doing exactly the same thing we were doing in our for loop, just one at a time. Um, so. I'm going to. Instead of using the index from our for loop, I'm going to use this current fire index, which we're saving. Um, and this will create one projectile, and then I'm going to change the current fire index. Um, or I'll increment it by one and uh, do a remainder, I guess, to make sure. You don't have to. Hmm? You don't have to. It'll just rotate around. Oh, you're right. Yes. This will be a problem if someone plays the game for a million seconds or something. Mm -hmm. I think you would die before that, I hope. Yeah, and your batteries would die. And yeah, yeah we're, we're good. Heat, death of the universe, all that. <laughs> all right, this seems pretty doable, right? Will it actually be a problem? Because it'll wrap around to negative, right? And that's fine. Yeah, I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> OK, we just got to wait here until it overflows. Um, so then finally, I'm going to do this um, like final stage boss thing. So um, I guess I will also save a variable for what stage the boss is currently in. You could also just check the boss health like you are for the game over. Yeah, just check uh, if it's yeah. less than like 20. Half. Um, yeah. Maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe a quarter. Well, so then I also have to save max boss health, which is fine. I can do that. Um, all right. Gosh, we're making really good times today. Shannon should be doing all of these bosses. <laughs> all right, so right now it's always going to do um, this one bullet at a time. Um, but inside this if statement, I'm going to check um, the boss health. So I'm going to duplicate this block. I'm going to make a new variable. And then I'm going to set the box boss health to the max. So you start out at the max, and then we're going to be decreasing whatever the current boss health is. Um, and in here, we're going to check that the um, current boss health boss health is less or greater than I guess greater than um, the max boss health times or divided by four three two three. I like this the radial thing a lot, so I it, I, I would be um, sad if it only showed up for the last fourth. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. I guess now I'm gonna try and play this game. Uh, oh, that one a, needs to be a divide. Yeah, it's times right now. There we go. Nope. This is why we do these streams in a team, folks. <laughs> Teach each other's code. Yeah. 
some of us have the ability to recognize simple addition signs and some of us. <laughs> I, I regularly make use plus instead of divide and divide instead of plus. Because they are the hard ones. Similar. They're very tiny. Yeah, but I am I, all the time and I never remember it <laughs> when I'm like trying to debug my program. Uh, maybe I should make the boss bigger as well. Oh, oh I'm in the final stage. Ah. Ooh. Yeah, the other thing I'm thinking is maybe we should redesign this level a bit because it seems really hard to hit it when it's in the um... upper. Yeah. Yeah, so the thing I was going for was um, I was like, OK, so you can hide out in here in this middle zone and be safe unless the boss suddenly teleports up here. But um, it is hard to get up. So yeah, any any suggestions welcome. Um, what if you put a hole in the floor? Oh, then we'd have to do falling death. Um, I'm trying to well, think because like it, it uh, seems super safe to just hang out at the bottom you know yeah so it's it's very vertically oriented right now i think that if we had a flatter platform on the top where you could run around a bit that's just not one tile wide you know mm -hmm. yeah like if you um all right let's start from scratch i'm gonna put one boss in each corner um for now one spawn location. OK, now you're describing like this. Well, it doesn't need to be all the way across, but just just like a little bit more. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm almost thinking like the iconic Smash Bros where you have the floor, then you've got two little steppers and then another platform or something. Mm -hmm. Like a triangle? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you have two two platforms, and then you have one in the middle. Yes, like that. Like this? I think that's too tall. Oh, you're right. I think both of those are, actually. I'm going to make these a little narrower, too, because I think they will destroy the, well, yeah, OK. Um, and then the this upper one's only, yeah. So I guess I could. Move the boss. Well, if I just did one more up here. Sure. Yeah. I feel like there should be a boss spawn at each level so that it can clear you out of that level. You know. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So nothing is like safe. Yeah. All right. So I put one here so instead of putting one in this corner i'll put one here and then should i keep these two bottom ones or i guess this one doesn't really do anything yeah no i think it's good to keep the bottom ones because that way the bottom is the biggest area where the player can hide so it should also be the least safe in my opinion mm -hmm. what if it was in the middle of the bottom then it becomes considerably less safe yeah okay Four locations. Let's run through this. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Walls. Um, OK, so I have to also change the player spawn location. Um, let's set the player. Maybe here, here. Sure, both of those are fine. Two, four. All right, cool. Yeah, so you start out safe. Um, uh, you're not safe. Oh. Yeah, I think this boss needs to be bigger. Yeah. Just to be a little more menacing. Um, if we have time, I would like to make it like flat. Like it blinks into position and then starts. Yep. 
We've got plenty of time. We're not even halfway done. <laughs> yeah, this has gotten a lot done. Rotating is a good call because then, oh, sorry, like cycling through the positions in a fixed order because then you can remember what position the boss will show up at next and use that to figure out mm -hmm. where to. What yeah. we could do since we have time is firing in the up direction. Ooh. It should be pretty easy to do because you don't need to store it in a variable. You can just say is up pressed. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. That would be useful for this for sure. Uh, so let's do that first then. Mm, I'm going to add a clause to this if statement. So I'm going to preference up above any of these facing um, variables. So if B is pressed and then also if up is pressed, then we're going to set projectile to projectile from the player with um, 0x and negative vy. Yes. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Sneaks up on you. <laughs> Maybe your guys' projectiles should be different colors or something? Um, yeah, I think that'd help. And then, yeah, I think I should make the boss bigger, probably, was the consensus. Yeah, it's a little weird that the boss is the same size as the projectiles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Am I still not at 30%? Oh, there we go. You're down at two health. This isn't looking good. <laughs> That seems. How's that feel, Daryl? Yeah, well, you know, it was a nail biter. All right. Um, what were we saying? Make the boss bigger. And. Make Chase bigger. <laughs> Just add a row around. And then yeah. also make these. that's a boss I wouldn't want to walk into at a dark alley. <laughs> <laughs> and these are boss projectiles. So what if I just made them also orange? Um, that has world implications. Is it fire <laughs> young? Oh, didn't do it here. Um, no, maybe he's just really committed to his brand. Or chunks of himself. <laughs> Only purchases orange accessories at the <laughs> villain weapon store. Block toe. Square center. <laughs> All right. Um, and then the other Square thing box. I wanted to do is I wanted to have um, the boss, yeah, like have chase um, flash or animate or something in this uh, pause time. So. I guess I could just do it in like. Hmm. You could just use the animation blocks. I think that would be the easiest. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. All right. I will add this extension. So, animate. Um, and so I'm just gonna animate for you know the same amount of time as our pause, which I guess should now be in a variable. But let's see. Let me create the boss. Um, so what I did just now is I add an extension. If you click this advanced, you scroll down, we have this extensions, which is all sorts of, you know, useful blocks um, that were maybe slightly too specific to be included in our main arcade um, toolbox. So. Animate the boss. Well, I don't remember how big exactly. <laughs> um, like that big? Roughly? I think it might have been one thinner. 
on the left side? I think it was. I don't think it matters that much. <laughs> That's true. It'll just end on the last frame, right? Mm. Oh. All right. Um, maybe. Interesting. Redrawing the square instead of duplicating and coloring it with the fill bucket. Uh, are you just flashing it as in like into existence? Oh, you're making it like transparency. Oh, that's gotcha. <laughs> maybe a little bit slower. <laughs> Wait, what were like, you? Like, think probably like 400. I was thinking like orange, red, orange, red, orange, red, or something. Oh, I see. Um... But this is also good. Okay. It kind of gives the impression of teleporting, which is. Yeah, theoretically. All right, I can't see that first position. Oh, it is a different size. That's fine. <laughs> I think it's the same size more times. Uh, so the other thing you could do is just do two frames, then loop it, and then call stop when you. Ooh, that's a great idea. Yes, <laughs> let's do that. So, just like a little bit, like a little bit of urgency, yeah. All right, and then when we start firing from a boss, we will also stop all animations. And maybe also set the image, let's see. Yeah, I probably will have to. Why, what would you have to set the image to? Um, otherwise, oh, because it'll be transparent. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I didn't that time. I guess it's it a be... fixed length of time, so maybe the math just works out. Uh, yeah, maybe it will. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. let's let the image just to be safe. Sorry. Maybe the top spawn. There you should... go. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Uh, I'm wondering if the top spawn shouldn't be behind the lives. Maybe it should be yeah. right or something. Um, yeah. Okay, let me fix this animation first, and then we can go back and fiddle with the level a little bit. Um, what is one, two, three? Ah, uh, this guy's not a perfect square. Or Okay, there we go. And I drag that image to duplicate it. Um, and then I'm going to go up to where we stop the animations. And after we stop animations, I'm going to reset the image to our boss image. So. Set the boss image to. Oops, all right. And then I will also change this first spawn location. Um, so I guess I could just move it. I can move everything over like this. Mm. Will this still um, be blocked? I think that will still be blocked. Yeah. Or did you have something specific in mind, Daryl? Uh, that seems good. Yeah, I was thinking just moving the um, only the boss, but yeah, I like this. I think I wonder if the radial shooting thing, like what what if we did like sixteen directions instead? Sixteen? Yeah, it feels a little choppy to me. I don't know. What do you guys think? Oh, I like it. Um. To make it fire faster uh, for this but... initial rotation anyway is what you're yeah saying. i'm thinking making it fire faster and in more directions mm -hmm. should be easy you just need to divide that 0.7 whatever by two mm -hmm. all right yeah let's do that um seven eight five four so three <laughs> nine five twenty five plus yeah, 27. 
I like Someone's this got approach a better. I will plug it in. Otherwise, I will just use this. Sorry. I like this approach better. <laughs> it'll get it'll get handled anyway by me house magic. <laughs> what if it did that, but it also fired two bullets each time? Oh, sure. Um, let's see. I guess I should just pause yeah. and do another one. You don't need to pause. You could just fire fire two, right? And then. But then it'll just be exactly overlapping. Oh, two angles. So, so yeah. Right, right. Yeah, change yeah. the fire index inside See, there. I thought you meant two like behind each other. Um, oh, gotcha. But that works too. Yes. Um, so I'm just gonna do twice. Uh, we need to move the set projectile kind too. Yes. Ah. We could make it do uh, opposites as it goes around. Oh, like front and back. <laughs> mm -hmm. I kind of like how it was diagonal the first. Interesting. Time. Hmm. I think it needs to fire faster um, in order yeah. for this to look. Boss fire. All right. Let's make those the same. Um, and let's also, I'm going to change this back to the regular one. At that point, it's essentially the radial. Yeah, that's true. I, I like the single projectile at a time. I think it just looks weirder doing two at a time. Yeah, I think it's because they're too close together. The time between. Um, hmm. mm -hmm. okay. Let me slow this back down to where it was before. So you could in that if and else set the fire speed. So you could have a different fire speed for the different attack modes. And the radial one could be faster because it's not attacking all directions at once. You just do the if you do the fire speed back to that low thing and then just fire one at a time, we'll have the best of both worlds. And so if we, if we go back to the 100 milliseconds. Oh, I see. For the uh, in game attack, it doesn't really matter anyway, because if you're getting hit, you're going to hurt. So I like Joey's idea of doing two from either side also, but this is not bad. Yeah, yeah. So with the yeah. 16, it looks I think, pretty. I think this radio looks a lot better. Yeah. And because he's so frequently pushed up against a wall, mm -hmm. uh, like, you know, you weren't seeing a lot of the bullets previously. Hmm. It'd be pretty cool if we could get the uh, warmed the warm radial lined up with the attack, but I don't think oh. that'll ever happen. <laughs> no, there's no way. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it. Just actually, no, somewhere. I don't think you could. <laughs> if we start it on the first attack, it's not really good. <laughs> Um, cool. All right. Well, I think that's all I had. Um, boss wow. wise. Are we finishing early? That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, I'm a fan of maybe like a couple slightly shorter streams. <laughs> um, so unless anyone else has any ideas, um, I think I will call this one. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, so are we settled on the name? I'll be honest. I like naming it after Chase, but it does not sound like a very good boss name. <laughs> I feel like Chase was a boss. Uh, how about, I mean, Cthulhu? There's another C name. <laughs> I think that one's taken. Um, it is a boss, though. Um, what are other names that please? start with C? <laughs> let's pull up the list. If we're just going to then yeah, let's stick with Chase. I think that's fine. Chase. Awesome. Should um, we let him know? <laughs> sorry? Should we let him know 
He'll figure it out. <laughs> it's a compliment. Yeah. Um, I mean, he already named Chase the Pizza after himself, or Chase the Donut. Oh. It is also Chase the Pizza, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I think um, the first one, when I wrote it, was Follow the Donut, and then it, when it got rewritten, we changed it. Mm-hmm. So... Um, all right. Well, thank you guys for joining us. Um, I'm Shannon. I'm at Shakao on the MakeCode forums. I'm Daryl at Darzu on the forums. I'm Joey at JWondrill on the forums. And I'm Richard at Richard on the forums. <laughs>